This screencast is going to show you how to complete the calculations for the Picket Fence Freefall Lab. All right, the first calculation we're going to take a look at is going to be down here in the analysis. So it says from your six trials, determine the minimum, the maximum, and the average values for the acceleration of the picket fence and record them in the data table. So up here, you'll see a place for the minimum, a place for the maximum, and a place for the average. So to find the minimum and maximum, you're just going to scan your data. So looking at what's your lowest number, what's your highest number. So my minimum is this number here, so I'm just going to record that down here, 5.91. My maximum is 7.01. Okay, the average is a bit of a calculation, so I'm going to write my numbers out. I have 6.21 plus 5.91 plus 6.02 plus 7.01 plus 6.55 plus 6.47. And I need all of those divided by 6 since I have 6 numbers or 6 data samples. So just be careful when you enter this into your calculator. You want to make sure that you either use parentheses around all of those numbers, or if you don't like using parentheses, when you get to the end here, that's the last number you put in, hit equals, and then hit divided by six so that you don't have an order of operation error. Okay, and when I do that, I get an answer of 6.36 meters per second squared. Okay, and you'll see there's a place up here to record that in the data table. And you don't need the units because the unit is actually in the table, so that's already taken care of. Um, you need to complete questions two and three, but the rest of the calculations, so this is um, going to come from four and five on the back. So um, I'm going to go to the back page. I won't be coming back to this, but remember this is where those data tables, um, or where that information from the next calculations will be put into your data table. And there is an example in the lab, but I'm going to go through again using my numbers. So you can see here the average acceleration represents a single best value derived from all of your measurements. The minimum maximus gives an indication of how much the measurements can vary from trial to trial. That is, they indicate the precision of your measurement. One way of stating the precision is to take half of the difference between the minimum and maximum values and use the result as the uncertainty of the measurement. So if you remember, my minimum was 5.91. Difference means subtraction. So I'm going to subtract that from my max, which was 7.01. Okay, when I subtract that, I get 1.10. And if you remember, it says take half of the difference. So I'm going to take half of that, and that gives me 0.55. And that's the uncertainty of the measurement. Express your final experimental result as the average value plus or minus the uncertainty. So this would be 6.36 plus or minus 0.55 meters per second squared. Okay, and it says record your values in the data table. So if you go back to the data table, Okay, you'll see a place where you're going to record that on the data table that says acceleration due to gravity, comma, g. Make sure that number goes there. And then the last is your um, precision. And again, that you will see that word precision on the data table on the previous page. And that is going to be um, using what your value is, so you'll see it's the 0.9 as the plus or minus part divided by what the average is. So for my numbers, it would be 0.55 divided by the 6.36 and then times 100, and that would give me 8.65%. So remember we said about just doing two decimal places for all of your calculations. Okay, and that is how you do the calculations for the picket fence free fall. You should be able to answer the remaining questions including the extensions, one, two, and three, um, and complete all of that and turn your lab in when it is finished. Thank you.